Hey, what's up? It's Kasia. Welcome back to another guitar lick lesson. Um, we're going to be doing something cool today where we're looking and focusing more on the right hand and the technique used in the right hand. Um, I'm going to show you how we can use the plectrum um, in the in the hand while at the same time picking with the other three fingers that are free. And what's cool about that is it gives you the ability to choose whatever texture you want. You know, so you can go into a really hard strumming pattern with picking on your, um, picking with the plectrum so you can get a bigger sound out and then all of a sudden you can really go into a soft sound with the texture of the fingers on top of it and then mixing the two together. So, you know, using your plectrum on the bass notes and then using your fingers on the bottom strings. Um, this just allows you to really capitalize on the dynamics of things. It really just allows you to go super loud, allows you to come in super soft, it allows you to, in certain parts, you want to be more pinpointed and you want to pull out particular sounds. You might do that with the fingers. You might do that with a harder plectrum sound. Um, it really starts to like unlock doors and, and keep things unlimited. So let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look at this. So what we're doing is we are putting the plectrum in between the thumb and the index finger. And we're gonna use the rest of the fingers to pick the strings while we're using the plectrum to hit the bass note. So we're gonna form the A minor chord. We're just gonna Use our kind of ring on the bottom thing, the bottom string. Our middle is going to hit the B string. We can use the plectrum to jump onto the G string, or you can do it the other way, where you can use your pinky on the bottom, ring in the, on the G on the B string, um, and your middle on the G string. Whichever way suits you and whatever feels comfortable, really. Okay, so we're gonna. We're gonna use the combination now of having the plectrum picking the bass note, and we're just walking up from the bottom. Then we're gonna use the pinky and we're just gonna jump between the seventh and the eighth. Then we're gonna slide over to the C major and jump between nine and 12. I mean 10 and 12, sorry. And then back to, and then to G major. Now that one, I don't really move up. I just kind of keep it on G. Sometimes I add to have a bit of a dissonant note in. Um, but yeah, if we look at the first time around, Now the beauty of it is coming into the second time, you've got the plectrum in hand. So now you can either go harder or you can go softer. And you can combine the two. If you, another little technique is if you want to keep the hand stable, you can rest it um, up here. You can rest your palm there and walk over it. That can keep the hand stable. Or you can rest it on the bridge. That can help as well. Or if you want more in the sound in the middle, then you can kind of rest it over the top. So let's look at the second time. I'm going to slide in just like with a plectrum strum in the beginning and then pick with the rest of the fingers because now you've got that opportunity or that chance to choose the texture you want. So it's loud and then soft. Now I'm going to go all plectrum. Mm -hmm. 
and now the combination between the two. Cool. Okay, and then we're going to go into that chorus. And it's going to be the G and the A minor. And now you've got the opportunity because you've already got the plectrum in hand. You know, you can do the big strums and get the big sound out. And then you can pick and add the texture in. Or you can use the texture of the plectrum. I like going into that A minor and using the texture from the fingers. And just playing around on that because it gives it the softer sound. Don't try to do exactly what I'm doing here in terms of like picking every note and everything the exact same. What it's about is getting the actual thing that sits behind it. So it's like when you're in the A and you're strumming the A minor, you want to be picking whatever you like. Or just with the plectrum. Sometimes it's easier to just start out with the plectrum and then bring in the fingers afterwards. But the main technique here is combining the two to get texture and accuracy. So that's just plectrum. Here's both. 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 Now just plectrum. Now both. And then you can go softer with the dynamic. And that's what the that's what the fingers allow. allows you to bring a lot of feel into your sound. So now we're gonna bring more of the plectrum in. can lead you into strumming. And then into the chorus. And then you pinpoint it with your fingers. soft with the pinky with the, the fingers cool hope that technique helps hey welcome back thanks for sticking around and learning the lick um, and trying a different technique um, I hope you're actually able to incorporate it into your plane if you like what we're doing here just uh, hit subscribe and uh, if you've got any new ideas or new techniques or things that you want to work on, just drop a comment in the comment section. So I'll leave a couple of I'll leave a couple of links in the description. Um, and yeah, if there's anything you want to work on, get in touch with me. Um, anything that you're struggling with, and we can see how we can take this further and fill in some more of the holes that you might not be getting here on YouTube. Um, okay, so. Take it easy, have a good week.